Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I'm Josh Ramron, and we're here at the Zora's Domain. For one reason, and one reason only. It's the sink down here. But I'm also going to run around and collect some crap here. Like, rupee. But first, I'm going to try and... I just hope I can blow this up in one go here. Yeah. Okay, make sure it doesn't uh, float away. Or roll away, because it can roll away underwater from you. And then you won't be able to blow it up. Alright, we free the Goron, it looks like, doesn't it? Let's speak with him. Finally out. Thanks, brother. I took a nap and found myself swallowed up in lava and somehow very far from home. Uh, unless, well, let me give you a token of my appreciation, brother. This is all I have on me right now. I hope it'll do. Yeah, bomb bag! So, guess what? We have three of them now. That's right, three bomb bags. And that's all the bomb bags that we can get in the game. Okay, I'm gonna swim around here, get more rupees, because there is some around here. And before I do the, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I go to the, the temple, there is one more thing that I forgot to do, and that is to get two more golden bugs. Yes, there is more that we can get yet. So, um, I will be doing that before I go to the, uh the temple. And the golden bugs that I missed are near Kakariko, so it's quite a long ways from here, unfortunately. But uh, I'll be able to get there in time. Well, they're not in Kakariko Village, they're near it. I'll be... I'll... Um, yeah, I'll definitely show you. I mean, definitely. <laughs> I'm sure there's more stuff around here that you can bomb and all that fun stuff, but I'm not going to. I got enough rupees. Whoa! Why do I keep doing that? I'm just so silly. And I'm just trying to think of how it would be fastest to get there. I don't really know. Oh well. Dang nabbit. Let's swim. Yeah, there's more rocks under here I bet you could bomb. But I don't have any underwater bombs, so I'm not gonna even bother. Okay, so. Do we wanna... Yeah, we wanna go over here. Or is the current too strong? Because we want to go over here to the area that will take us near Castle Town. I'm pretty sure that's the quickest way. Pretty sure. <laughs> Oh, no way. We have to go all the way around the Lake Hylia, don't we? Yeah, we do, because the bridge is out. Oh, how sad. You know what? I should have totally just taken the warp to Lake Hylia then. Oh, well. I don't think there is one in Zoro's Domain. There is the boat ride that will do it. Anyway. Is there any horse grass around here? Yes, I know there's a golden bug around here. <sighs> well, there will be horse grass coming up near Lake Hylia, so... Dang it. We'll get there. What would Zelda be like without overworld travel, right?
I should take my tunic off. <laughs> the flippers look kind of strange, but other than, other than that, I really like the the Zora outfit. Nah, <laughs> nah. Hmm, is there any horse grass around here? There's gotta be. None? Seriously? Oh well, even if there is, I'm still gonna... Yeah. I bet you there probably is somewhere and I'm just being dumb. Not remembering where it is. Oh well. I know where one is for certain and that's over here, right? Link. We can do it. <sighs> so it sounds like these uh, run out of stuff to say. I don't know. <laughs> Lots of crazy stuff that happened at work, I gotta tell ya. There's a... Uh, uh, it's been going on for a month now. There's this customer who want he wanted us to get in some shoes that we don't normally carry, but other other WalMarts and other locations do. So we got the, we phoned around to um, find out what other stores had these shoes for this guy, and eventually we did find a, a store that. Um, oh, I'm gonna pick that up. Eventually, we did find a store that uh, had what we were looking for. Excuse me while I kill this thing first. And then I'll continue with my story. Dang it. No! They certainly don't last very long, do they? I'm not going to pick up the purple ones, because the purple ones can actually damage you, too. It's like a lottery with those. Anyways! So we found another store, another Walmart that carried these shoes for this guy. And we got them to send it to us. But when they arrived, they were the black version instead of the white version that he wanted. So he wasn't too happy about that, to say the least. Um, and it took, like, it took a while for the shoes to get to us, too. Like a week or so. And he wasn't impressed with that, either. But anyway, so he was a, we told him that we had the black version instead, but he wanted the white, and we found, we ended up calling around again, and we actually found this store that had the white shoes that he wanted, so we got those, but, and when he came in to get them, he only took one pair, saying, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come again for the other ones, because he, he got more than one pair, he got like four. So he's like, okay, I'm going to come in and get the other ones when I get paid. So it, over the past few weeks, he he came picking up these shoes. But every time he he got them, he didn't he did he didn't take the box with him. Like he's saying, okay, I don't need the box. So okay, we thought nothing of it. Sometimes customers don't want the box that the shoe comes in. Um, and then he he would take the shoes and he you know he'd go on and do whatever. So so yesterday we learned we found a tag for these shoes in with the domestic bed sheets and stuff. So he's been ripping the tags off and stealing these shoes. That's the only the only conclusion that you can come to because we don't normally carry these shoes. We got these shoes especially for him. The shoes go directly from us to him, to his hands. And, and so he's been ripping the tags off and taking these shoes. I mean, like, <laughs> that's the only explanation we can come up with, right? Okay, we gotta find these golden bugs here. They're in this area now. 
I just thought that was freaking just a slap in the face, because this guy is like, he's really weird, and he's, he, like, he's, he's been phoning the store manager and saying, oh, the sh people in the shoe department are so great, they've been helping me get these shoes, they've been bending over backwards, you know, and helping me with this. And it's just like he's shaking our hand in, in, with one hand and stabbing us in the back with the other. So we're definitely going to... I told our sh the manager, and so they know about it. And he still has one pair of shoes left that he has to come and pick up. And I am searching for these golden bugs, so... Yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I will, uh find these golden bugs next time. They should be around here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Anyways, God's feasty frosty guys, see y'all.